Wow, some outstanding news down in Florida. Tim Canova, you know, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, right? Debbie, you know, everybody knows Debbie Wasserman Schultz is. Debbie Wasserman Schultz is the congresswoman from Florida 23. She's the perhaps the most corrupt politician to the left of or to the right of Hillary Clinton. She was the DNC chairperson throughout the 2016 primary where they cheated Bernie Sanders and lied and cheated and stole, went on national television about five times, lied to the uh, American public, right? So her candidate, her challenger down in Florida, right? He was going to run as a, as a Democrat, right? And pff, who gives a shit about the Democrats? Who even trusts them, right? They ripped them off the last time, right? He ran down there. He probably won the won the race. And they took his ballots and they threw it in the fucking garbage when he challenged it. <laughs> so, so, so Tim Canova, in a moment of clarity, I'm telling you, it's starting to turn, man. People are starting to wake up, right? What the fuck? You're going to go run against the Democrats and let them... How many times they got to stab you in the back before you realize it's a, it's a scam? It's a ripoff. You're getting ripped off. All right, so what's Tim Canova going to do? Tim Canova said... And this is from the, uh, I'll put the uh, the link down below. You can read the article. Sun Sentinel. It's a local Florida paper. This is local, it's a local race. We can't vote for him. It's Congress, right? So so down in Florida 23, if you're down there, this is this is for you. But as a, as, as a greater point, Tim Canova is making the greater point, is that you don't have to suck up to the Democrats. You can push them out of the way and then challenge them in the general election. And that's precisely what Tim Canova is doing. He's not uh, he's not going to run in the primary and and say, pretty please, Democrats pick me because it's not a fair election. Right. They they picked the candidate. They already said that in, in open court. Right. They fucking cheat. Right. So, Tim. He, he not only did is he going to run as an independent in November to upseat Debbie Wasserman Schultz, but he had some really good stuff to say. He said that Wasserman Schultz, I'm reading from the article, that Wasserman Schultz is the kiss of death. <laughs> she is the albatross around this party. He called her a menace to Florida and the nation and the world. <laughs> I hope to watch as my party has come to resemble a battered sponsor relationship. The party regularly ignores its grassroots ba- grassroots roots <laughs> grassroots base and it, i can't i don't read very well do it and it abuses those who like me challenge party incumbents right so read the article he, he, he bashes the shit out of out, out of debbie wasserman schultz is gonna and he's gonna run for congress and um but again the same people that count the votes for the primary right the, the people that cheated him the last time are ultimately a de- it's a democratic stranglehold in florida right so a Republican has got no chance. Why? Because the count, the fucking Democrats count the votes, right? So he's got a, he's got one less. He's got it. The, running in November as an independent is smart because it buys him more time. Instead of getting, getting cheated in June and July, August, September, October, November, five months pass, right? And they, by that time, they forgot, they forgot your name. No, instead, Tim is running as an independent, banging on the pavement with all his with all his support. Right? He's gonna he he has the people behind him in Florida. See, this is the way to do it, right? You don't you don't suck up to them. You bring them to their knees. This is how this is this is exactly how you do it. Tim already has, you know, uh, name brand recognition. I think he was at, at one point he was Bernie Sanders uh, supported him, but. That I don't know. I don't know what happened with Bernie. Bernie just, you know, d- disappeared. You know, disappeared. Put one other thing on the record that uh, I, I've been saying all along. Right, you're starting to see the markets tank, and I, I'll I'll probably do a separate piece on this. But the the bar the markets are teetering on on support, which means that if you follow, it's all in the chart. It doesn't matter about the story. The story's in the charts and price. Uh, and the, the, when the when the when the market peaks, right? We've seen this excel, acceleration to the top, right? Acceleration upward, and then it peaks. And when it it'll continue to go if it if it if it can if the pattern continues to go up. What goes up continues to go up until it comes down. And then at the top, you'll see a reversal pattern. So and then from there, 
it begins the the bear market. It begins to slowly digress, if not plunge. Right at some points, you'll see plunges. Right, so it appears that the the Dow, the Nasdaq, and the um, S and P five hundred yesterday broke down. And hey, look. I, I just I, I can't uh, yeah Amazon of course Amazon is the Apple you know these are the the, the, the trillion dollar companies but the, the I I had said that no companies have surpassed the trillion dollar market capitalization it's actually not true the banks J P Morgan Bank of America Wells Fargo all are over a trillion in market capitalization but how much tax do they pay how much tax do they pay fucking zero nothing they don't pay the tax right they don't reciprocate right in the 30 percent what last year when we, when the corporate tax uh level was 34 percent how much tax do they break they don't pay anything right so this is this is who we have to break you got to break the banks i'll read the names jp morgan bank of america wells fargo citigroup goldman sachs morgan stanley u.s bank corp td pnc bank of new york mellon capital one BB and T Corp, SunTrust, and HSBC, all of which these fifteen banks have thirteen point two trillion dollars in, in assets. Right, it's too much. It's too much power, too much money, and too much influence concentrated in one area. Right, right. Goldman Sachs single-handedly sunk the the the, the nation of Greece. I mean, look, you got to take your money out. <laughs> Get your money out. The markets are going down. You have Trump on TV bashing them. He's saying pay your fucking tax. They, they, you know, and if people decide to take their money out, as I've said before, 5%, over 5%, if 5% of the people show up to their bank and say, give me my fucking money, right, they'll, you'll see a run on the banks and, the, and they'll freeze it up. So, again, I'll do another piece on that. But kudos to Tim, Tim Canova. Uh, for having some testicles and really, this is the way to do it, folks. You, you gotta look. You, if you're in the military, you gotta, you gotta, you can't, you can't join the military. You gotta bring the military-industrial complex down. How do you do it? You just don't show up. You don't do it. If if the the two or three million people that are involved in the military decide enough is enough, we we quit. It's over. They're not gonna. They can't arrest everybody. They can't throw everybody in jail, right? It's like the instance in California when the motorcycle guys, you remember the motorcycle guys, they said, we're not going to wear helmets. We don't want to wear helmets. Say, yeah, yeah, I know if I fall, it'll save my ass, but we're not going to wear helmets. And they took the helmets and they threw it on the steps of City Hall. And that was the end of the helmet law, right? It's the people, what the people decide, right? So the people, if you don't want to go, if you're 18 years old and you don't want to go, you know, join and shoot and uh, shoot a gun and die in a foreign, foreign land, you know, fighting... <clears throat> fighting some 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 uh, obscure you know in in the surgeon's war that has nothing to do with your freedom or your <clears throat> country's freedom at home instead it's just keeping the, the the money machine going this is this is your time this is your calling get out of the military if you have stocks and bonds and you get sell those fucking things get rid of those things get rid of those things take your money out of the bank right if you have mortgages don't pay that shit don't pay that credit card debt don't pay that student loan don't don't pay that that's the worst loan on earth 18 year old kid they strangle you they, sh they strangle your ass with with debt for the rest of your life right hundred thousand dollars follows you to the grave <laughs> my name is marcus conti i'm a investigative journalist youtube uh, blogger subscribe to my station if you can make a make a patreon do not a patreon paypal donation and um greatly appreciate that i want to continue this work thank you very much